I have a little secret to share with you. You see, your quality of life is primarily determined by one thing and one thing only, the degree to which you understand who and what you really are. Socrates famously summarized this truth in just two words, know thyself. Other words that we could use to describe your level of self-understanding include your level of consciousness, your vibration, or your connection with spirit and your higher self. Now, as a society, we've been led to believe that we need to succeed in the outer world in order to be happy, but that's actually completely backwards and is the reason there is so much confusion in the world today. No job, no amount of money, and no vacation can ever provide a lasting sense of inner peace. The only path to fulfillment and a life without regrets is to go within, to activate your dormant DNA, to strengthen your connection with the higher power, and to gain the inspiration and the motivation to live in full alignment with your purpose and with your potential. Nothing in the outer world can ever fill the void left by the absence of self-knowledge. Because the truth is, the thing that we want most in life is ourselves. You are what you're looking for. It's really quite beautiful when you think about it. The only thing we want more than anything in this life is the only thing that can never be taken away. The tragedy is that very few of us can see this. Everything going on out there in the outer world is a big song and dance that ultimately leads us straight back to ourselves. Fair warning though, deep self-discovery work is not for the faint of heart. It requires vulnerability, humility, and patience to clear out all the negative self-talk, the childhood traumas, and the ancestral traumas that keep us feeling stuck, anxious, overwhelmed, and frustrated in life. All those negative patterns that we know are not a true reflection of ourselves. But the gold is always on the other side of the fear. Once we find the courage to face ourselves honestly and to let go of our egos, the natural byproducts are the fulfillment, peace, love, and success that we all want and deserve. Life expresses itself perfectly, but only if we allow it. Now, for those of you who are committed to doing deep inner work, psychedelics are unquestionably the most powerful tool we have to facilitate incredible transformations in consciousness. But there's a lot of confusion about working with psychedelics, in particular regarding the energetic or the spiritual aspects of the work. And like most things in life that sound too good to be true, there's a lot more going on in a ceremony than is generally understood. And given the power of psychedelics, they are to be met with reverence and with discernment. For me personally, psychedelics opened the door to spirituality, allowed me to heal deeply rooted childhood trauma that I wasn't even aware of, and gave me the clarity and the confidence that I needed to leave strategy consulting and to pursue who I meant to become in this life. To give you a sense of how inverted I believe our priorities are and how valuable this work can be when it's done well, I spent a large percentage of my life savings on psychedelic retreats and working with private healers. And the last car that I owned, I sold for $300. Now, to be perfectly honest, I was not well prepared for my first ayahuasca retreat and I had quite a traumatizing experience. It really broke me to pieces and nobody was there to help me integrate post-retreat. And yet, despite a challenging first rodeo, I maintain that it is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Over the years that followed, more friends and colleagues came to me for advice on plant medicine retreats and I grew increasingly motivated to help them learn from my mistakes and to guide people towards safe, sacred and quality experiences that address some of the shortcomings that are typical of a high volume retreat center. In these places, sometimes the services are more oriented around the retreat rather than oriented around the individual. By way of introduction, my name is Jonathan DePotter and I'm the founder of Behold Retreats. But this video isn't about me. It's about giving you additional perspective on the nature of this work so that you can make more progress with less medicine, make informed decisions, and hopefully avoid some of the lessons that I've learned the hard way. So whether or not you decide to do a retreat with us, I hope this is valuable to you. Now in this video, we're going to cover three things. Number one, my 11 truths into the nature of consciousness and psychedelics. Number two, what to look for in a safe and high quality retreat. And number three, the way that we do things that behold and why, and what needs to be true in order for you to be invited to attend one of our retreats. Now for this video, I'm going to keep my 11 truths relatively to the point, and I'll link to a longer video below if you'd like to go deeper. Please recognize that these are my personal and subjective truths, which doesn't necessarily make them true for you. And that's okay. Reality is subjective. Truth number one, the entire universe exists within you, but with even more dimensions than you're typically used to. This is the reason that people report such profound experiences on psychedelic retreats. Truth number two, through self-understanding, the improvements available to your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being are truly unbelievable. We've set the bar for human health and potential in completely the wrong place. And I want you to know this. 
you are the proud owner of and already driving a multi-dimensional Ferrari, which is capable of that which can never be reduced to language. I will go deeper on this in another video. Truth number three, the primary purpose of the human experience is to raise our consciousness. Now, if there was one visual that I wish everyone on earth would take the time to understand, it would be this one, the levels of consciousness. When we are stuck at the lower levels, we experience the emotions of shame, guilt, fear, grief, and apathy. And we feel like a victim in life, like life is happening to us. Above that, at the egoic levels of consciousness, we tend to live in the emotions of anger, envy, and pride, and believe that life is happening for us. We did a survey last year with an external party that showed 46% of Americans believe that they are the best person they know. Now, self-belief is great, but that degree of hyper-individuality not so beautiful. Above the egoic levels of consciousness are the more interdependent levels, where we feel positive, calm, and productive. And above that is the mystical understanding, where we can live from a place of joy, love, and peace. And we begin to feel that life is happening as us, through us. Above that is unity consciousness, where our outer universe actually merges with our inner universe, and you begin to perceive yourself as originating from outside your body. Now, from the little that I understand, this is just the beginning, and it just keeps on going. The infinite truly is. Truth number four, while there is no upper limit, the human goal of spiritual work is ascension, to release our worldly karma and to be able to graduate from earth onto the higher dimensions of reality when we complete this life, should we so choose. Truth number five, each of us is a unique and complete expression of life with valuable gifts to give. We all belong. We all have a purpose. Who and what you are is embedded in your DNA. Your job is to get rid of what's not you so that you can become what you already are. I know that's a little bit of a paradox, but that's just the way these things work. Truth number six, each of us is also a unique puzzle. What works for me won't necessarily work for you. Now, that being said, my experience is that yoga, meditation, and healthy eating is supportive for almost everyone. Truth number seven, one of the primary determinants of sustained and long-term benefits from a psychedelic retreat is working with a coach or with a therapist. There's a great quote from Rumi that I believe bears significance here. He who travels without a guide needs 200 years for a two-day journey. If you take one thing from this video other than the levels of consciousness, then please do me a favor and decide here and now that you will work with a coach or with a therapist. Your future self will thank you later. This one took me years to work out. Truth number eight, if you're someone who is highly driven to succeed like I was for most of my life, it's likely that you're so competitive because you require external validation due to the fact that you're somewhat disconnected from your internal validation system. If that's the case for you, then it's likely that you're going to have a more intense experience on retreat and I can doubly recommend that you work with a coach or a therapist. Truth number nine, the science is very clear that psychedelics are not a quick fix. I'm sorry. You need to prepare, learn the tools for mental and emotional work, and be able to select a high quality retreat in order to get the deeper breakthroughs and to sustain the benefits. Truth number 10, virtually all retreats are rated as five star because very few people are able to discern quality. Now there's a lot of darkness out there facilitating psychedelic retreats and a lot more darkness masquerading as false light. I don't share this with you to scare you, but to encourage you to be cautious and discerning and take your time to make a good decision. Truth number 11, last one. If they aren't already, spiritual pursuits are likely to become one of the best things in your life. One bit of advice, don't push yourself too hard with psychedelics. Work to accept yourself as you are and seek to maintain balance across all aspects of your life. This is all about self-love. Okay, moving on. Number two, what to look for to identify a safe and high quality retreat. I go deeper on this subject in other videos. So here I'm going to keep this pretty short and highlight just three things. Number one, take the time to understand whether the services from the retreat provider are oriented around you or whether you're just another butt on another seat on another retreat. Networking with a small group of like-minded individuals on retreat can be great fun. Meeting 20 plus people at the same time in of itself can be overwhelming on any retreat, let alone a psychedelic retreat where you're trying to go deep. Large group ceremonies have their origins in indigenous use of medicine and works great for a community that is coming together to clear the last six months of tribal drama, but it's probably not the highly supportive healing container that you may be looking for. Consider the environment that would allow you to feel safe to completely surrender. A famous comedian recently went on a popular podcast and shared his own 
experience at a well-known ayahuasca center. And in that, he mentioned that there were people in the ceremony who didn't even know what ayahuasca was. There was a lady who mentioned that her husband had just sent her on retreat. I'll protect the guilty here, but that is just shocking. Also, with 20 plus people's energy flying around the room, it's unfortunately possible to pick up someone else's stuff and to actually come home worse off. Some facilitators do manage the energetics, uh, so this doesn't happen, but it's not necessarily a given. We've received guests who have come home from a large group ceremony and subsequently wanted to come do private work with us ASAP because they could tell that they had picked up energies on the retreat that wasn't theirs. So again, my recommendation here is look for a small group where you feel safe to relax and explore your inner universe. Number two, look at the energy of the facilitators and healers you'll be working with. If the healers look a bit grim, hunched over, tired, disconnected, or you can't really see what's going on in their eyes, that's probably not the vibe you're looking for. Luckily, you can usually see this in the photos on retreat websites. In my experience, those who do this work well are in vibrant and radiant health. They are happy people, and you can really see it especially in their shining eyes. It's a dirty secret and a sad reality that a lot of retreat centers are overworking and underpaying their facilitators and healers. If the facilitators and healers are resentful of their employer, that will be reflected in ceremony one way or the other. Number three, you're not really buying a psychedelic retreat. You're buying access to a portal to a higher dimension. The breakthroughs that are available to you in ceremony are a direct reflection of the dimension or the vibration of the portal. The higher the vibration of the portal, the more profound spiritual breakthroughs that will be available to you. I know that may sound a bit woo-woo, but the difference here is of critical importance. I'll use a physics analogy. Now in physics, when you have a lower frequency and a higher frequency, the lower frequency is harmonizing up to the higher frequency. And to oversimplify this work, that is what we are hoping for on retreat, to harmonize our mind, body, heart, and spirit up to a higher frequency and to recognize more of who and what we truly are. Now, recognizing that everything is rated as five stars and that it's near impossible to tell the vibration of the portal from home sweet home, I will again encourage you to focus on whether the healer looks experienced and energized. If the healer is not a clear channel or they are doing a lot of large back-to-back -back group retreats, that will be reflected in how much heavy energy they are carrying, the ceremony, and in a lower vibration portal. Uh, I will link to more detailed information on how to select a higher quality retreat treat. Okay, number three. Now, if you're still with me, I'm going to share a little bit more about what we do at Behold Retreats and why. In essence, Behold Retreats represents what I wish was available for me many years ago. Focused on you as an individual, a holistic approach to the work, guided by experts and organized in a loving and professional way. Given what I've shared already, what we do differently probably won't come as a surprise. Number one, safety first. We speak to all prospective guests to ensure they are truly ready for such a powerful experience and that we are in energetic alignment. Additionally, all of our guests go through a comprehensive physical and psychiatric screening. Spiritual safety is also of great importance and poorly understood. On my first retreat, I now recognize that I had outside energies push through me, which is a large part of what was so terrifying and traumatizing for me. You see, these are powerful and subjective experiences, so it's important to allow one's own experience to unfold naturally while maintaining a spiritually protected space. A ceremony should be all about empowering you never to push a particular understanding, type of energy, or cosmology. We all understand ourselves in the universe in our own way and that's the way it should be number two you'll be guided every step of the way after the discovery call with one of our medicine guides we'll help you begin to prepare for the retreat on all levels we'll help you book an appropriate flight and we'll pick you up at the airport once you're back home we'll also make sure that you are integrating the experience well number three we work with leading diagnostic tools to help you get to the root cause of your issues and to speed up the self-discovery process. To give one such example, we can provide a remote quantum energetic scan, which will point you directly at your most significant opportunities. A word of caution, only do the scan if you are ready to hear hard truths about yourself because this technology can be painfully accurate, even for the most hardcore skeptic. I'll link to it below if you're interested to understand more. Number four, expertise. We've put a lot of time and energy into building a team of experienced facilitators, healers, therapists, and coaches to teach you all the tricks to bring you towards wholeness. Not just on retreat, but so you can continue the inner work yourself when you're back home. Number five, 
We host small groups to contain the energy, and our retreats are in beautiful locations that are ideal for deep self-exploration. Each retreat has a schedule that balances activities with plenty of time for rest, reflection, and relaxation. One note on pricing, we sometimes get asked why our services are a little bit more expensive than other options out there. The short version is, number one, we host small groups, so the economics are different. Number two, we provide personalized guidance pre and post retreat. Number three, high quality accommodation and food. Number four, we pay all of our staff well. And number five, and this one is so commonly overlooked, we don't overwork our people. If our facilitators are not living their best lives, it's not possible that they will be leading you to live yours. If they're overworked or underpaid, as is often the case, that will affect the quality of the retreat. That's just how energy works. Now, if you're a first timer or you haven't previously worked with a coach, I would highly recommend that you consider our structured seven week transformational program. While retreat are amazing, it's worth setting yourself up for success to get clear on your future self, identify and release mental and emotional blocks, and to have someone hold you accountable for the big shift that you're looking for. We work with 5MEO DMT, Bufo, Ayahuasca, and Psilocybin, and we host retreats in Costa Rica, Mexico, Netherlands, and Portugal. Our all-inclusive group retreats begin at 4500 USD and go up from there depending upon group size and location. With the seven week program and coaching, the price is 7,500. If you are in a position to do so, you may also like to consider a private retreat. And if you want to work with some of the best in the world, these people tend to keep a low profile and we're honored to play the role of concierge. If you'd like to attend one of our retreats, a number of things need to be true. Number one, you are aware of the difficulties that are common with plant medicine. Number two, you have a well-considered intention for the retreat. Number three, you have no physical health or psychological conditions that could present danger, and we can help you assess that if you need. Number four, no substances or medications for three weeks prior to retreat. Again, in some cases, we require longer, and if you need help with that, we can provide some guidance. Number five, you will adhere to a strict diet prior to retreat as required. Now, there's no such thing as selling psychedelic plant medicine work. Either your soul is ready or it isn't. Either you resonate with what we do and the way we do it, or you don't. What's important is that you trust your intuition and understand your own decision-making process. Remember, it's really not about how many retreats you go on. It's about the improvements to consciousness and quality of life that you get from each one. It's not really either about the psychedelics. It's about embodying and sustaining a higher vibration in everyday life. In closing, I want to share with you that I believe that every single one of us here on earth is part of the same organism. So with or without psychedelics, let's put in the inner work so that we can make it paradise for one another. If today is the day and you're ready to prioritize number one and commit to becoming more of your true self, then we're here to help. My personal promise to you is simple. You are in great hands. To request a discovery call, click on begin your journey below and share some of your details. I hope this has been helpful to you and I give you the best wishes for your health, your truth, and your happiness in service and with much love. Aloha.